Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video is a tips and tricks guide to Minecraft PlayStation 4, the Bedrock version. You have a lot of questions, you have a lot of problems, and I'm gonna try and do my best in this video to answer them and explain to you guys how this version of Minecraft works. So the launch wasn't necessarily successful and that is because it was all to do with the Microsoft accounts. It was all to do with not being able to buy tokens, people's maps missing, people's DLC missing. So I want to explain to you how to access certain things. There is bugs, there is problems. I've already received tons of crashes. You've seen it on my live stream and you've seen it in my videos. So those things will get ironed out at some point. Uh, you have to remember, PlayStation had 17 million people that played Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition. So when there's that many people trying to log into Microsoft accounts, I believe we crashed the official website. I also, again, wanna talk about 4J Studios because with the release of Minecraft PlayStation 4, the Bedrock version, here is the official confirmation that they are no longer a developer. 4J tweeted saying, now that the Bedrock version of Minecraft is out on PS4, there are no more feature updates planned for Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition. To experience new Minecraft features, you'll need to buzz over to the new version, which you'll get for free, if you own the console edition of PS4. Thank you to more than 17 million Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition players for your support over the years. So that is the official confirmation that the final edition version of Minecraft has been discontinued, that 4J Studios are no longer classed as a Minecraft developer, which is very sad and also a very big mistake, I believe, because 4J should have taken control of Minecraft on a console edition for the Bedrock version being Xbox, Switch, and the PlayStation 4 version. With that being said, let's get into a couple of things. First thing I want to mention, when you load up Minecraft PlayStation 4, the Bedrock version, you'll be faced with auto text, basically a dude, a lady, talking over what you do. If you go to settings, and please don't crash, the first one at the top is accessibility. Now, if you enabled your text speech, you'll hear that person talking non-stop, these two would have been enabled. Main so when you back out, it basically play, narrates well, 13, every single thing 13, you do. Game, it's 13, annoying. Three, to turn uh, it off, make sure these two two top ones are off, which is enable UI screen reader, enable text to speech for chat. Make sure you have it off because, well, it's, it is really, really annoying. The next thing I want to mention, guys, is if you don't regularly follow updates, but you still want to know what's changed when you get an update, maybe you're not interested in YouTube videos as much, or social media, if you go to settings and you scroll down to the bottom on how to play and then you go to the top, which is what's new, this will load patch notes from previous updates. Obviously, this one being the Buzzy Bees, it explains about Buzzy Bees, what's been introduced. Buzzy Bees was the official launch update for Minecraft PlayStation 4, the Bedrock version. So this next one is, of course, for the PlayStation 4 community, but also really confused me. So on the other Bedrock versions being iOS, Android, and Windows 10, and I believe Xbox and Switch as well, there's two different options for crafting. And this is usually located in your settings option. So going to your settings options and going to video, underneath, I believe it's meant to be underneath FOV, can be altered. There should be a different button which lets you change from classic to pocket. Now here's a quick video of me doing it on Windows 10. There is the option to switch your crafting. I do not know if that's something that's going to be introduced at a later date, but especially for the, the PlayStation players, a lot of you probably would have used the automatic crafting system that 4J Studios introduced to the game. Or you would use the classic version, which was introduced to the game later on down the line. Obviously giving you two options, the automatic crafting that 4J had and the manual crafting, which is the PC classic crafting. Just for the, the PlayStation players, it seems like you only have the the classic. Now, you do have a recipe book which does let you craft things a lot easier, uh, but I was quite surprised that that was not introduced to the game. So now that that's out of the way, let's go to um, the worlds. So if we go to Minecraft store, this is the Minecraft store where you can purchase things like skin packs, worlds, texture packs, masher packs, you name it, it's all inside of here. I've had a lot of questions saying how do you get custom add-ons for free? Unfortunately, that is not possible at this moment. Unless you're on iOS or Android, 
or Windows 10. I believe they've also patched the way to do it on Xbox where you could purchase, sorry, where you could download DLC from websites such as MC Bedrock or MCPDL.com or other places around the internet. That has now been patched. Someone hopefully will come up with a method on how to get uh, access to the files on PlayStation 4. But if you want any form of DLC, you're going to have to pay for it. Um, a little bit of a spoiler here. I'm going to be doing a review of the Infinity Skyblock, created by a really good friend of mine, by Jagar Above Productions. Um, but at the top, guys, you'll see my Windows account, or whatever you want to call it, Microsoft account. It's Echo Exorger YT's packs. So any DLC that you have purchased will be hidden behind here. Any DLC you purchased on PlayStation 4 Edition will be inside of here. Now, a lot of you are missing DLC, and the reason why you're missing DLC is because not all DLC from the PlayStation 4 Edition will be available on the Bedrock version. You might be missing a couple of things. Uh, this is the same for Xbox. That is because those packs, texture packs, skin packs, are licensed for the Edition's version, not licensed for this version. That could change in the future, and it has changed in the past. But make sure you go to the top, you will find all your DLC. You will have to re-download your content. But again, at the top, it will take, say your name. So if your name's Bob, Jeff, I don't know, Craig, Larry, Jess. It'll be at the top here. Tap on it and your DLC should be inside of here. Now, as for the content that's on, side of, on, on here, this is where PlayStation have been incredibly fussy. So if we press square on my controller, we have uh, tokens. They're finally working now. They weren't working on launch. You can buy these. These are used to buy maps, skin packs, mashup packs, you name it. You can buy it inside of here. Um, however, they're locked behind PlayStation. So if I was to purchase the mine coins, basically the same as these, on iOS, Android, Windows, and Xbox, or Switch, I can transfer them between uh, platforms. PlayStation didn't like the sound of mine coins. So they've been called tokens. They are a PlayStation exclusive. Really annoying. Takes away one of the whole the whole point of the whole cross-platform play. Uh, but talking about DLC, I had a look for the Founders Cape. The Founders Cape was something that was given to the community over uh, Minecon. If you type in Founder or even Founders Cape, uh, it's not there. I don't know why the PlayStation community do not have access to capes. Maybe this is something that's going to be introduced in the future. It's simply not there. So if you guys are looking for that, it's it's currently not available at this point. But I'll tell you what is available. If you just type in Echo, E-C-K-O, on the marketplace, uh, I do have a skin pack. It's the Echadal onesies uh, for 310 uh, Minecraft coins, tokens. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in even more of me, you can check out the skins. It's basically me in, in animal onesies. Yeah, I'm quite proud of it, to be honest with you. So that's all to do with the marketplace. Uh, let's go to the next part. Before we go into maps and how to get your maps, um, this version is a little bit more advanced compared to the Xbox version or the Switch version. So the Xbox version has two different versions of Minecraft that you can download, sorry, that you can play. It's two separate games. In this version, it's all in one. The additions is in one and the Bedrock version is in one. You have additions at the bottom. If you tap on this, it says the version you are about to play is the old version of Minecraft and is lo no longer being updated. This is going to take you back to the 4J Studios version. It's going to load up the game the same way it loads up and probably loaded up for a very long time. The 4J version, a lot more polished, a lot cleaner, and a lot easier. And as you guys can see, we're straight onto the PlayStation 4 Edition, um, which I think is so much easier. And I hope this feature gets introduced to Xbox and Switch as well. If you want to go back to the Bedrock version, at the bottom, launch new Minecraft, you simply tap on this and it's gonna simply load up Minecraft. Now the difference between these two is that the Bedrock version of Minecraft takes quite some time to load up. So something else I wanna to mention to you guys is if you, you're not able to do the whole crossplay experience, if you go down to profile, make sure enable crossplay is enabled. If you wanna play with iOS, Android, Windows, and Xbox, and Switch, make sure this is enabled. I'll also be showing you guys how you can invite people in game, play with your friends at this moment. Now talking about playing with friends, I've told you guys a million times, realms are not there at this moment. This is where they would usually be located and usually at the top it would say create realm. Realms are something that will be introduced. Now as for people asking when, it could be any time between the next one week or the next one to two months. Also not available at this moment is servers. Servers are coming soon. You cannot load up PC servers, okay? These are marked, these are, these are uh, registered, partnered servers, Hive, Mindplex, 
you have in PvP, you have Lifeboat, you have Cubecraft, and I think there might be one more. Apologies if I forgot it. Uh, hopefully more servers will be introduced in the future, but there's only a select amount of servers because you cannot put in an external IP. So you can't type in echocraft.com and play that kind of server. So uh, this is where someone else is having issues. So I've done this on purpose and deleted all my other worlds. We have one, one, one world which I started with my uh, Twitch community. So make sure you follow me on twitch.tv forward slash echoic soldier. PS4 bedrock launch. Down here is old worlds. Now old worlds are your old worlds created on the additions versions of Minecraft. If you've been playing Minecraft PlayStation 4 for a very long time, you will have a lot of worlds. Now if we tap on this world, it is going to convert this world so it is possible to play on the PlayStation 4 Bedrock version. However, I know a lot of you guys are having issues with your worlds, such as the whole entire world is not transferring. That is a bug. That is an issue. That is something that will hopefully be fixed because I've seen a lot of people say, well, I spent years on my world and the whole entire world has gone. It's broken. So that is something that developers really need to look into because like you, I lost a lot in my world as well. Uh, eventually it did get fixed because the Xbox version worked a little bit differently compared to the PlayStation version. But Redstone, well, Redstone is very different on the Bedrock version. But as you guys can see here, conversion complete. Would you like to play this? So you have the option to instantly play. For now, I don't really want to play. Um, your world should still be there. So what I'm saying, guys, is even though, you've, even though I've transferred this world to Bedrock, it's still down there. Don't delete them. If you're having issues with your world, make sure you still have your old worlds. So when they bring patches and fix the issues, you can then convert the world again and it should work successfully. So don't delete any of your old worlds, especially if they're your special worlds. Uh, but this one now converted to survival, which means it should still work with being able to obtain achievements and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's something that I know a lot of people are having some issues with. So I just want to create a world here. I've had a lot of questions saying, do you need PlayStation Plus? If you want to play an online experience, you are going to need PlayStation Plus. Now, if you want to play with your friends, you have a couple of different options here. You can make it as a multiplayer game. You can have friends and friends off or on, or you can have friends only, which means friends that you only know. Um, be really careful with that, okay? Because if friends of friends are on, you might get people joining and starting to troll or do some destructive work. You can simply turn it off by that. I'm going to be showing you guys a multiplayer experience with the whole crossplay thing as well. Um, so I'm simply just going to create a world. Before we do create this world though, there is tons of world options here. Again, some of these are up to you. You can have TNT explosions on or off, coordinates on or off, coordinates are no longer on maps anymore. They're now locked behind this. They're on permanently. Um, but if you guys want to mess around with structure blocks, you're going to have to have this on, which is use experimental gameplay. So it enables beta features. Now, experimental gameplay may not be stable. This is not official beta, but it's a couple of things that are locked behind it, like structure blocks. You are going to have to enable that. Talking about betas, we did have the confirmation from Roger Carpenter that uh, betas will not be on PlayStation platform. However, they never said that. They're not opposed to it. It could be something introduced in the future. Uh, you even have the education version. And I did a bunch of videos on the education version. So if you want to know how that works, you can also do that. All right, I think I've covered the majority of the things. Um, if you want to get into more advanced things like the tick speed or the uh, simulation chunks, you're probably best off going to more advanced command block YouTubers for those kind of things. So I know one thing you guys are going to say is the graphics is terrible. So yeah, it is. It's a lot different compared to the PlayStation 4 edition. It's a lot different compared to the editions version in general. You will get used to this. That's the only thing I can say. There is texture packs available like Faithful or Spax or really, really cool texture packs available from community creators. Um, but the textures are not going to change. Even if you go to start and you go to settings and you then go to uh, the ability to mess around with brightness. Well, you probably have your brightness all the way up. So this is where you guys are going to be questioning a lot of things. If you guys don't know, the Bedrock version is a phone port. It's been ported over from iOS and Android to then Windows 10 to then Xbox and Switch. And of course, now to PlayStation. There is no way to change your graphics. This is something that me, you, PlayStation community, Xbox community, Switch community have been complaining for a long time. Now that PlayStation are involved in Bedrock, Microsoft and Minecraft are going to see the full force of the community down to complaints and what we do and do not like. So if you don't like it, make sure you uh, put it on the feedback. 
There's also no seed generation like changes. You can't put balanced seed on. So you'll end up with thousands and thousands of blocks of the same biome. That's something else that needs to change. There is a lot of changes needed, guys. And I'll be totally honest with you, it still needs a lot of work. But PlayStation, you joined at a better time compared to the Xbox version. Right, so something else I want to show you guys is you probably see that we have controller tips on. So bottom right, you can see RT to mine. You can see uh, triangle is my inventory. We go inside of here. It tells me how to take out some of the things. X to take it out. Um, circle to exit and stuff like that to take half. These are controller tips. So it'll probably say something about mining if we just go over here to like something over here. As you guys can see, it says break. Now, if you want to turn off controller tips, you can do that. The way you do this is you press start, go to settings, go down to video. I think it's video. Well, no, it's not. It's going to be inside of, I think it's wireless. It's inside of here. So you can hide controller hints. So if you have this enabled, it's going to get rid of like teaching you how to play the game. I mean, if you're an advanced Minecraft player, you don't really know how to, you don't really need the extra buttons on there. Um, for me, it just makes things a little bit cleaner. It's just a lot easier to work with. So that's definitely the first thing I wanted to mention to you guys. So getting into the whole cross-play experience, if you press start and then you then type invite to game, this is what you're faced with. So these are gonna be friends that obviously are the PlayStation version. Anyone that has a PlayStation logo, is a PlayStation player. We then go down to Wyatt. So Wyatt, I believe, was someone we were playing on launch day. He's an iOS or Android player. That's why he doesn't have a logo. They should have done specific logos for specific platforms. Um, but if we go to all the way down here and we type in find crossplay platform friend and gamertag, it's all based off gamertag. So when you're searching for a friend, you're searching for their gamertag. Now I'm gonna search my other gamertag, which is, hold on, let's go back to here. Let's go back to here. We're just gonna do it as, uh, it's just echo, space, X, space, soldier. This is my Xbox Live account. If we do this, it's then gonna say that this is an official gamer tag, and it's gonna give me these options. So that is my gamer tag. Now, a couple of things you have to do here is, of course, you have to add them. Once you've added them, I've now received a friend request on my other account. Then you can invite that person as well. You are able to invite that person to this world. Um, that's something I wanted to mention. These two offline cross-platform friends. So once I accept, they'll be down here. It's all to do with your gamer tags, and that's how you get yourself cross-play. Again, there's no realms or servers. So if you are playing single-player worlds, which is what this world is, that's how you invite those people to the game. Last thing I wanted to mention was to do with commands. So if you press right on your D-pad, it will then access chat. Now, there's a couple of things inside of here that I did cover on live stream. Uh, these are settings to basically mute everyone if you're annoyed. You can change font. Look at the bottom left. It will change the font style. You can change the size and stuff like that. Line spacing, color text. That's up to you. The next one next to it is just really quick commands like set world spawn. So uh, you then press, I think it's square. So we've now set world spawn right here, which is where we're standing. Um, the other ones that we have available inside of here are teleport. So you can teleport to players. Time, you can change the time of day if you wanted to change it. Oh, I got an invite. I got an invite. Uh, I don't know what, play, what he was playing on. You got weather, you can change the weather. Um, but I want to show you guys the whole structure block things. So if you do forward slash, straight away you're going to be faced with a lot of commands. And I recommend doing a little bit of research. You have so many different commands if you're doing this in creative. If you enable con commands, if you want commands in survival, it's going to disable your uh, trophies slash achievements. So if I do forward slash give... And then we do at P, which stands, we need to do a space actually. That's my bad. Let's go back to this real quick. Space at P, which stands for at player. You can see at the bottom left, at all, at entities, closest player, etc. cetera, uh, at P. And then we do forward slash give at P and we do structure. As you can see, it's a structure block. So we're gonna get myself one of these, just one. This is a block that you need to have experimental gameplay enabled. If you do not have experimental gameplay enabled, then these do not work successfully. You need to have experimental if you want to start being able to access this. Now, just for the sake of today's video, I'll show you guys how to basically grab a whole entire building and move it to where you want to move it. Uh, my advice is to place it probably on the same level as this. So we'll do it here. Actually, we'll do a bit further back. We can transfer a little bit more land. So this gives you the ability to transfer. It's a, it's a lot of... It's a lot of messing around but for the sake of it for the buildings i usually do these 10 and then for this one we'll do them all 10 to start off with and then this one can also be 10 as well 
Um, I did a full tutorial on how these work, so if you do need a tutorial, then you can mess around with it. It looks like, it tells you, by the way, which one is which. One, one is which. So if you look, the bottom is the x-axis, that's red, so that's telling you how far it needs to go back. The y is up, and then you've got, I think it's the blue one, which is the bottom one going the other way. So we need to then change this to about 15. And I think this one also needs to be 15 as well. And as you guys can see, we should have the whole entire structure now. Yeah, so we have the ha whole entire structure. So once we have this done, right, you can have entities on or off. So if there's mobs or animals or anything inside of there, have them off. It won't show them. You can remove blocks as well, so it'll show you what's on the inside. Uh, all you need to do now is name this whatever you want. So we're just going to name this as house one, and then we're just going to go done, and then we're just going to save this. So that is now saved. We don't really need that structure anymore. Uh, we're going to spawn this house. Let's go and spawn it in like a really crazy location. We're going to spawn it on top of this tree, right? So we then place down the structure block. We then change the option from save to load. And we change this to, of course, house one, done. And then we tap load. And as you guys can see, we loaded in that house on top of there. So that's everything I think I wanted to cover in today's video. If there's anything else you guys are ha having issues with, just let me know in the comments section. Um, I think I did cover the majority of your guys' questions. There is a lot more work that is definitely going to be needed. And TikTok, French, thank you for the invite. But guys, have a great day. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time. Bye.